Ah, let's go back to the time when George Washington and some other people who have their faces stuck in every piece of money you can find founded America. It was a time of hope for a better future. It felt like you could do anything you wanted, wherever you wanted, whenever you wanted. Now let's go back to today, where everyone is forced to do nothing but boring things like school and work. Well, I say we shouldn't have to do these boring things. This is America, people. We should be having fun. We should be able to do whatever we want to do. We should be doing the things that we do because we want to do them, not because of some teacher or boss that is making us do them. That's why you should vote for me for President of the U.S. of America. When I am elected, I will order all the schools and office buildings to be knocked down and turned into playgrounds, amusement parks, arcades, and many other fun things that I will let you, the people of this great country, decide. I'll even let the kids help with knocking all the schools down. And I'll let the grown-ups who really hate their jobs help with knocking all the office buildings down. But if for some reason you really like your school or office, I will shrink that building down for you so that it will be small enough for you to keep for as long as you would like. Just make sure you find the perfect place to keep it, like the garbage. Sorry, doggies. Your days of eating people's homework are over, since schools and homework will be illegal when I become president. Anyone who tries to make another school will be given a free all-you-can-eat dinner, and then will immediately be forced to ride the biggest roller coaster in the city. But my not-so-painful campaign isn't just about having fun. As your future president, I will be looking out for your health. Have you ever had a really hot day where you just really needed an ice cream cone, but there weren't any ice cream trucks around? I'm sure you have. No one should ever have to go through that again. So as your future president, I will make sure that the ice cream trucks run 24 hours a day with ice cream truck stops every two blocks so anyone can catch an ice cream truck wherever they want, wherever they want, at whatever time they want. If you are wondering where will we get enough ice cream trucks for this, wonder no more. I will take all those school buses that we won't use anymore and turn them into ice cream trucks. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Now, there's something I would also change about fancy parties, too. I have noticed that at weddings, for example, the girls wear gardens on their dresses and shoes that make them look an inch taller that hurt their feet. The boys dress up like penguins and tie pieces of cloth around their necks. I don't know about you, but I think all of that is very weird and very uncomfortable. When I become president, I will make a law that says you can wear whatever you want to a wedding or any other fancy party especially a clown costume. But sadly, you can only wear a diaper if you are a baby. It is a wedding, after all, not a baby shower. Plus, the husband and wife shouldn't have to think about changing any diapers until after they get a baby. I just want to share one more thing today, and then you can go back to ignoring me. Sometimes, especially nowadays during the coronavirus, people feel sad or depressed with no one around to make them feel better. It's terrible to even imagine so many people sitting at home with nobody allowed to visit them or even give them a hug. But when I become president, I will make sure that no one will ever be sad again, at least not for long. What I will do is I will make an emergency phone number for people to call when they are sad. As soon as you finish dialing that number, someone will head over to your house and give you a teddy bear that you can hug until you feel better. The only thing that you will have to decide is if you want to keep the teddy bear or not. You can call that number whenever you feel sad, no matter the reason. Baseball hit you in the nose? Call that number. Lose all of your nacho chips? Your teddy bear is on the way. Scared of teddy bears? Oh, then maybe you shouldn't call that number. Well, that's it for now. Sadly, because our country is boring right now, I'm too young to be president. But I can't wait until you vote for me when I run in 13 years from now. If not, I can't wait until you vote for me when I walk in 13 years from now. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below this video. Also, shout out to my neighbor Doby who told me to give him a shout-out. Hey, Doby. See you all. Like and subscribe. Over and out. I'm done. Bye. No, really, I'm done.